I'm sailing away. Okay. <clears throat> Don't know what that was about. It was just stuck in my head as I hit record. Anyways, Piccolo versus Boros. Um, this is an interesting fight. Um, um, before you ask, yes, this is indeed an apology for the atrocity that was fictional fight Saitama versus Goku. <laughs> this whole episode was just an apology to the Dragon Ball Z community for that horrendous episode. And people really like this one, like a lot better than Sora vs. Dante, and it did a lot better than Sora vs. Dante. And since Sora vs. Dante did as good as the Best Fictional Fights episode, that means this did better than the Best Fictional Fights episode, which means by episode 2, Universes is already more successful than Fictional Fights. And I don't even have fight scenes or anything. So, this is a formula that really works, and this this is something that people really like, and I'm very, very happy and proud of this new show. And I'm very happy to continue working on it. So, I want to thank all of you for the support, and converting the Fictional Fights to this new show, and, you know, sticking with me, because I was very nervous about this new show at first, because I'm like... Well, even even in fictional fights, even if I didn't have a fight scene, I had like a narration or a drawing or something. But in this show, I don't even have those, and yet you guys still love it to death. So I'm I'm very very happy and grateful for that. Thank you all so much for watching it and enjoying it. It really really brings a smile to my face and a tear to my eye and a, a tickle to my pickle. Okay, maybe not that last one, because that would be a little weird, but you get the point. I am very happy that you're happy about this new show. <clears throat> uh, anyways, is the thing I wanted, I did want a Dragon Ball character to pick a One Punch Man character, and Piccolo versus Boros is, seemed like the best matchup, because they seemed the closest. I mean, there are characters closer in power to Boros than Piccolo, but Piccolo and Bor Piccolo has regeneration like Boros, so they had more similarities. <clears throat> so it just it just seems it just seemed very very fitting for me, and I didn't want I didn't want to put like a weaker One Punch Man character like um, Moomin Rider or Speed of Sound Sonic or Genos or something. Because I want, I wanted a character who was a big deal in One Punch Man to lose to a Dragon Ball Z character as the apology. I mean, if the One Punch Man character ended up winning from the research, then I'd still let them win. It's not like I cheated them out of a win, because Piccolo really does win. But the thing is, Piccolo really does win this battle. But if Boros, if the research said that Boros did win, then I would allow him to win. Even though this is meant to be an apology for One Punch Man. Or Saitama versus Goku. <clears throat> oh, and also, another thing that sparked this battle idea was right before Universes premiered, um, a YouTuber by the name of, of Seth the Programmer um, debunked my Saitama versus Goku video. It was like seven months old at the time, so I don't know why he even did that, but he did it anyways. And woo, it like destroyed that video. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Like, go look at the dislike bar now and compare it to what it was, like, a couple months ago. It is... the dislike bar is, like, eating the like bar. It's like eating it for breakfast. <clears throat> it's... it's hilarious. <sighs> Speaking whale. competition. <clears throat> So yeah, um, but while that did send a bunch of dislikes to Saitama vs. Goku, it didn't really do any damage to my channel, because there weren't any, a bunch of dislikes on anything else, so I'm very happy about that. And it also brought like a ton of new subscribers, it brought like almost a hundred in a matter of like a couple days, so. This is also a thank you note to set the programmer for sending more attention my way. So it's an apology for Saitama vs. Goku, and a thank you note for set the programmer. But again, for One Punch Man fanboys here, I did not cheat Boros out of a win. He would have won if the research if the research said that he won. But the research doesn't say that, because Piccolo has better stats, a better arsenal, all that good stuff, yada yada yada, so Piccolo is still the winner. 
All his crew thought it was all a trick to lure Boros away. And the next fight is Dr. Cortex versus Dr. Eggman. Or Dr. Eggman versus Dr. Cortex, whatever order you'd like to place them in. And I'm not allowing their minions or henchmen to help them out. It's only Cortex and Eggman and the things they can use and do on their own. Because if I included henchmen, it would be extremely unfair for Eggman because Cortex would have Entropy on his side who has BFR, Reality Warping, and Time, time Paradox Manipulation. Uh, his biography in one of the games, it's literally he creates Time Paradoxes for fun. So he, Entropy could literally change the outcome to whatever he desires. He could make, he could kill Eggman by going back in time or something or causing a paradox so it's Eggman wouldn't exist. He could literally do anything to win. <laughs> So Entropy is kind of unfair. I mean, of course Crash beats Entropy because gameplay, and he's the hero, so he has to win automatically, but... Entropy at his fullest without any protagonist always wins restrictions. Entropy would dominate Crash. So... Oh, okay, ow, my arm. So, yeah, that's why I'm doing Cortex and Eggman only. Like, Cortex will get his standard equipment and gear, Eggman will get his standard equipment and gear, but they won't get any outside help. I was debating whether or not to allow Cortex to use Uka Uka, because, I mean, Uka Uka is a power-up to him as well, and not really technically outside help, because he can use Uka Uka as, like, a shield in gameplay and out of gameplay, so... It seems like an important part of his character, but in the end, I I decided not to use it because Cortex has barriers anyway at the end of Crash Bandicoot 3 in the final boss, so I'm like, eh, just forget Uka Uka. So, hopefully that fight will be good, I don't, um, we'll see who wins. Hope you guys are excited for that episode, and the episode after that is also very exciting, so I have lots of exciting fights planned for this series, and I hope you all enjoy it. Anyways, that's all I have for today. See you next episode and next episode commentary. Uh, goodbye.